Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation? And from here, what is given, which is 3 raised to power x plus x equals to 30. Here, let's take x to this side. That is, here we have 3 raised to power x equals to 30 minus x. Then, from here, this the same thing as writing it as 30 minus x equals to 3 raised to power x. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Thank you for subscribing. And here let's divide both sides by 3 raised to power x. Then we have divided by 3 raised to power x on both sides. Then here this cancel out and become 1 here. Then here we can separate this as 30 minus x. Now multiply by 1 over 3 raised to power x. Now equals to 1. That is, following the law of indices, 1 over a raised to power n, same thing as a raised to power minus n. So when we apply this to what we have then this becomes 30 minus x then multiply by 3 raised to power minus x now equals to 1 then from here we are intended to apply the Lambert w function which follows from w function of a exponent a and this same thing as a that is here we should have the power of the exponent and the coefficient equal here we have 30 minus x to make this power 30 minus x we need to add 30 in the power which means here we can multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power 30 then here we become 30 minus x then multiply by 3 raised to the power 30 then times 3 raised to the power minus x equals to 1 times 3 raised to the power 30 and here since from the law of indices we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power m to be equal to a raised to the power m plus n so when we apply this here this will now be 30 plus minus x, which is still 30 minus x. So we have 30 minus x here, then times 3 raised to the power 30 minus x. Then equals to here, we have 3 raised to the power 30 here. So here, we can replace 3 here as exponent ln 3. From when we have exponent ln a same thing as a then which implies that we can write 3 as exponent ln 3 so that will be 3 then here we have 30 minus x multiply by exponent ln 3 then multiply by 30 minus x we now be equal to 3 raised to power 30 on this side then here there's a little changes now to what we have we have 30 minus x here and this here has been multiplied by ln 3 so here let's multiply through now by ln 3 here then becomes 30 minus x then multiply by ln 3 then we have exponent we can rearrange this as 30 minus x ln 3 here which is equal to here we have 3 raised to the power 30 then multiply by ln 3 please don't forget click on the subscribe button below this video god bless you thank you now here we can apply the w function on both sides we have w into 30 minus x 
then ln 3 exponent let's say minus x ln 3 here is equals to w here into 3 raised to power 13 times ln 3 and here since what we have in the power here same as the coefficient here so this simply become 30 minus x ln 3 from lambda w function then equals to w function of here we can also write here as 3 raised to power 3 plus 27 this is also 30 then times ln 3 then when we separate this from the law of indices so we have 30 minus x ln 3 on this side now equals to w function of 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 27 10 times ln 3 then here we have 3 raised to power 3 means 3 multiply itself 3 times which is 27 so we have 30 minus x ln 3 now equals to w into 27 times ln 3 here then times 3 raised to the power 27 and also here we can replace 3 here as exponent ln 3 so that is written as 3 then this becomes 30 minus x ln 3 now equals to w into 27 ln 3 then we now have exponent ln 3 then raised to the power 27 same thing as 27 ln 3 there then comparing what we have now with the w function of a exponent a which is equals to a also the power same as the coefficient here then we can say we have 30 minus x ln 3 here now equals to 27 ln 3 and from here we can divide both sides by ln 3 here then ln 3 will cancel out and this will be 30 minus x now equals to 27 now you can take minus x here, 627 here, so we have 30 minus 27 equals to x, which is also x equals to 30 minus 27, which is 3. So therefore, x equals to 3 on this given problem. So this is how to apply the W number function. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe button below and turn the notification bell on share this video give it thumbs up put your comment in the comment section and share this video see you next class and bye for now